European American. Yeah. I was influenced by a lady by the name of Marguerite Wildenhain considerably. And uh, uh, I just I just love the way she handled clay and and uh, that's kind of how you uh, don't necessarily copy Marguerite if uh, if she should look at my pots today, she'd probably be very critical. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, How about the patterns you choose? Uh, those just, you, your I patterns? I choose what I, I uh, find in nature. Mm -hmm. Flowers and birds. And just what you normally find in nature. Trees. And you, how, tell me a little bit about how, once you've made the, thrown the piece, how your firing process and coloring process? Well, once I've made it, it has to set up a little bit. And uh, David? Yes, sir. How are you? Good to see Good you. See you. Once, once it's made, I'll let it set up until it gets a little stiff so that I can carve into it. And I, uh, for the most part, uh, what I do is I lay out a pattern uh, with brush and ink. Mm -hmm. Before I've done that, I do a lot of drawing, mm -hmm. pencil and paper, yeah. and then uh, organize an idea on the outside of the pot with brush and ink. Mm -hmm. And uh, that doesn't mean that I'll follow that, but uh, that gives me an idea of where I'm going uh, to uh, to put together an idea to. Uh, do what you do as an artist. You uh, have uh, unity, variety. Try to make it interesting mm -hmm. and uh, balance all those things. And uh, if they don't do that, then you probably take a knife and brush it all out and start over. <laughs> How about the coloring and the firing? The coloring I use mainly uh, cobalt and iron. Cobalt gives me all my blues and some of the blacks, but uh, iron and uh, I carve through that. It's that's my stain, my basic two stains, and uh, then the glazes that I use, I put on after I bisque iron. So, did you, uh, as you came up to the show, did you sort of go into a, a hyper production mode? You make more than you might not make in that normal time period. Uh, or is this sort of a collection of things you've done over time? Partly, partly both. Uh, there was things that I had been wanting to do, and I, I didn't get finished doing all I wanted to do. But uh, yes, there are several things that in this show that are from my past. Uh, uh -huh. Things that I've kept, kind of my uh, uh, reference things. Mm -hmm. Don't want to really sell. Mm -hmm. and won't sell, but uh, ideas that you put down that you don't want to uh, get rid of. Once you sell them, they're kind of gone, they're kind of gone from you. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've kept a few things, not a lot, but there are a few things in this show that are uh, from my past, some from my uh, Lookout Mountain uh, Rising Fawn experience, and uh, I don't have anything from my college days. But, 
uh, that's where you get started. Is there anything I that you would like to talk about that I haven't asked you about, or any people or thing, or you would like to talk about? Uh, well, I did value my experience at Marshall Pottery. I made a lot of uh, uh, production type things, but uh, it was a good experience in that I struggled with the clay mm -hmm. to the point that I was able to make a pot that was presentable to a person like Pete Payne. I don't know if you know that name, Pete Payne. Yeah. Pete Payne was my uh, supervisor when I worked at Marshall Carter. And it was gratifying to me to be able to please Pete Payne. Mm -hmm. if, if you could please him, uh, it's kind of like you've reached uh, a certain level as a potter. But a potter never... Well, I have a better grasp on it now than I did back before I came to Marshall Park, mm -hmm. which we came in 73. So, uh, I've been pleased with that. If it's if it's always a, a pain, then you're probably not gonna do very much. <laughs> you're gonna quit. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, students, I have a few students still, but uh, I don't really encourage them because uh, working on the wheel is very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. It takes a lot of years of developing skill, and uh, I certainly struggle with that. But it's a pleasure to do it now, still. Yeah. <laughs>